Tag, you're it. That's not fair. You shouldn't be able to tag back the person who already tagged you. It's completely fair. You just don't run fast enough. I don't want to play anymore. Hey. What's wrong with him? He's such a crybaby. Mm. Emma. What's wrong? It's not fair. When you're playing tag, are you allowed to tag back the person who tagged you? No, I don't think so. You shouldn't. Why? Then they're not playing right. She keeps tagging me back. Who? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Hold on. Hey, come here. I guess he told on you. Such a crybaby. Hey, what was that all about? What was what all about? The stomping your feet and rolling your eyes on your way over here. What was that? And what did you mutter? I didn't mutter anything. You guys are playing tag? Mm -hmm. So, if he tags you, and you tag him back, does that seem fair? Mm-hmm. Okay, now switch it. If you tag him, and he tags you back, is that fair? Well, it doesn't sound fair, right? So, the only way for it to be fair is if you tag somebody... They go tag somebody else. There's no going back and forth. It's a one-way tag. You tag her, she tags you. You tag him, he tags her. She tags you, he tags... It just goes in a circle, baby. But there's only five of us, and it's not like I can catch anybody else. That's why you get better, and you get faster. There's no good feeling about cheating in a game. Okay, okay, now you understand that, and you tell everybody else, if I hear anybody's double tagging, no one's playing tag anymore. Have fun. Hey, hmm, apologize. Apologize for what? Apologize for making him feel bad. I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you want to go play again? Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, my gosh. Hey there. You okay? Oh, what are you smiling at? A letter. A letter from who? Who's Justin? A friend? I didn't know friends made each other letters. Can I read it? Oh, we're being secretive about them. <laughs> okay. Good morning. Good morning, Ray. Uh, are we having dinner tonight? We have dinner every night. That's a dumbass question. Okay, I was just asking. Um... I was wondering if I could invite someone over. Who? Oh. Melissa? Sure. Of course. The more the merrier. So no one's gonna have a problem with it? Why would anyone have a problem with it? You have a friend, no one cares. Well, I'm pretty sure more of us care more than others. Don't start that, Ray. You know what you did, and you know what you said. Get the hell out. Why are you being so rude? I'm not. But you're being petty. For what? No one's being petty. I just wanted my friend to come over. Whatever. She can come over. No one cares. What the fuck was that all about? Can my friend Melissa come over? No one fucking cares. 
Exactly. If he just invited her over, nobody would be shocked at dinner. Maybe the kids, but... Hey, there's no need to get upset. He's doing this to get under your skin. And look at the letter. It seems like you have someone to invite over too. Yes, invite him. Maybe it'll give a taste back to Ray. Put him back in his place knowing he's not the only one who could find someone else. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go run to the grocery store. Do you wanna go with me? See, Amy told me that she went to start eating fruit, but I told her that she has a citrus allergy. So I told her she couldn't have lemons or oranges or limes or anything citrusy, you know? And she got so upset. And I feel so bad, but I don't want her to have an allergic reaction. And I get so worried when she goes to school because the school barely even pays attention when they feed the kids. Hey there. Oh. Do you remember me, or do I have to reintroduce myself? And who may this be, listener? Oh, my name's Justin. Oh, Justin! I've heard about you before. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, really? Were we speaking about me to other people? <laughs> Uh, we were just wondering, would you like to come over for dinner tonight? Oh, it would be my pleasure. The more the merrier, if you invite me yourself. Right, listener, wouldn't you like to invite him yourself? <laughs> I would gladly come over. Uh, what do you guys have in plan? I love to cook. Oh, we don't know yet. We were just grabbing some... Little fruits and vegetables, just in case of anything. Oh, well, I have a home-style cooking meal that I can whip up at your home, if you let me. That would be wonderful. Alrighty. Who's that? Melissa. You invited her over? Yes, Norman, shut the fuck up. Hey. Hi. It's so... You look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. And you don't look too bad yourself? <laughs> These old clothes. Please, come in. Your home is so beautiful. Yeah. Who's this? She's pretty. Oh, are these your siblings? Mm-hmm. You guys meet Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Uh, hi there. Um, are you the oldest? Technically, no. Norman is. Who's Norman? He's on the couch. Oh, uh, hello there. Hey there. Does he just sit there? No, he gets up time to time. Uh, my sister should be back. She's cooking dinner. Oh, I think they're here already. Jesus, did you have to open the door so slow? No. Why do you have so many bags? Oh, hi. You must be Melissa from the bookstore, right? <laughs> the library, yes. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Emma. This is Listener. And this is Justin. Who? Oh. Hey there, everybody. Oh, your country? Uh, my family's from the south side, but I don't like to say I'm country when I live in the city. Oh, it's really nice to meet you. You too. Ray? Um... Uh. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. What did you say your name was again? Justin. 
Justin. So they weren't lying about him? Justin's gonna cook dinner for us tonight. He is? Oh, that's nice. Hey, uh, listen, do you want to help me? <laughs> well, I'm gonna go clean up the kids. Norman, can you help me? Sure. Uh, you two can sit tight in the living room. Uh, we were planning to. Alrighty. What the hell? Justin is real? They didn't just make him up on the spot? Am I going crazy? Ray? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry. I was lost in thought. Um, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, uh, do you want to watch TV or do you want to just sit here and talk? We can go out on a walk if you want. I'm up to do anything if you want to do anything. Okay. You got a real nice home here. Oh, just a home-style cooking. You like chicken and beef, right? Or are you vegetarian? Hey, I won't go too heavy on the seasoning, but you will have some flavor in your food. Unless you guys don't do that, do you? Hey, I'm not gonna judge. Everybody eats their food differently. Everyone has different cultures. It seems like your family's a mixture of everything. Is it not? And I see the little ones running around. Those are your little siblings? Well, they're cute, for sure. Uh, could you help me cut up these? I need to wash out these potatoes. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do a little pot roast. Your family like carrots, or is anybody allergic to anything before I put anything in the skillet? Oh, citrus, there ain't no lemon going in here, so we'll be fine. Uh, I'll be right back. Do you have a bathroom? Got it, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and you know in the one book, uh, what is it called? You know the girl where she gets lost in the forest, but these fairies help her find her way back home? Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Uh, Lost in... What is it? Lost in Fairy Dust. Yes, I love that book. It was so good. But the thing that set me off was that the fairies were only girls. There were no male fairies. Well, how they portray it in a different way is like... Fairies are gentle and feminine, so... They want to portray that while masculinity is soft, well, non-soft is what I meant, and more hard-loving, I guess? No, uh, I get it. But a man could be a fairy. Some men do have feminine. Huh. What? Oh, nothing. I got lost in thought. Uh, back to what you were saying. Hey, you all right? Come on, let's finish cooking. All righty, everyone, put your napkins on your lap, please. All righty, I try my best in this food, so you guys let me know if you like it or not, okay? You have a weird accent. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was weird, but if that's what you want to call it, then sure. Why do you sound like that? Why do I sound country? Is that what it is? Yes, you can say I have a country accent. Do you not like it? No, it's very different. I do like it. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it. And I hope you like this food. Let me know if you want more. I can get seconds. Ray? Huh? Um, where's the silverware? Oh, uh, I thought Justin was gonna put that out. <laughs> Justin cooked the food. 
You always put out the silverware for everyone. Could you please do that? Sure. <laughs> so, Melissa, when did you and Ray meet? Uh, we met a few weeks ago, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. So, did you guys meet at the library or the nice little cafe across the street? We actually met at the library. Um, he picked out a book that caught my eye and we just started talking about it. Hmm. So, um, are you two married? Hmm? Oh! <laughs> no, 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 no. This is just a friend. Yeah, we're just friends. For now. Mm. So, um, listener, that is your name, right? So, you and Ray are siblings, right? No. Oh, then what are you guys? We're acquaintances, that's all. Ray, don't be so hostile. <laughs> that is all. Listener came way long before I met any of these people. We're not close at all. Oh. Do you need more? I'm fine, thanks. Well, let's all sit down and enjoy this food, okay? <clears throat> Is it just me? What are you guys whispering about? How about you mind your damn business? I mean, isn't it kind of rude to whisper at the table? Not if it has nothing concern you about. I was just curious. Uh, does anyone dislike the food? I do. It's too salty. Oh, uh, sorry about that. It's perfect, Justin. I really enjoy it. Oh, no need to flatter me if you don't really enjoy it. No, really. Some of us have better taste than others. At least I'm not shooting in the dark. Maybe my taste buds are just advanced than yours. Because I know how to move on. Next topic. How about you choose it? Do you want to start in category M? All right, you guys stop. What? She started it. I didn't start anything. You started something new. Listen, where are you going? Do you want me to go with you? I'm done eating. Melissa, are you done? Oh, uh, I, I guess so. We're going to leave now. Go ahead. Are we done eating? No, if you want to keep eating, you can keep eating, sweetie. Don't rush. Okay. Norman, come on. What? I'm not done eating, though. I don't care, come on. Bring my food with me. Hey, is everything okay? I have a question. Did you and Ray... Oh. Really? Well... When I came back from the bathroom, I seen how you were looking at him and that girl. So I was just curious. I didn't mean to strike a nerve or anything. Or I don't want to pry, you know? Um, it's getting pretty late. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up, you know, and head home. Alrighty. Join me.
Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. Um... Did you and Listener have a thing? No. No, we didn't. Oh. Well, you guys kind of look at each other differently, you know? What do you mean? I mean, you didn't even make eye contact with them once. You didn't even look up at them or in their direction the entire time. It's as if you don't acknowledge them at all. Until I said something. No. Me and Listener are just not. We're not close. Were you guys ever? Yeah. That was a long time ago. Oh. I think I'm gonna go home. Do you want me to walk you home? No, it's okay. No, please. Let me walk you home. Okay. Where'd Austin go? He cleaned up everything. He's so sweet. He's not that goddamn sweet. Norman! What? I'm just saying, man. Come on. I'm back. Please don't look at me like that. It's been a long night. Yeah, because you made it that way. Smart-ass remarks at the dinner table. Are you serious? And who kept prying? Who kept instigating? Who kept adding on to it? You, Emma. Whatever, Ray. I'm not arguing with you anymore. Good. Jeez. I'm sorry. It just bothers me. He sat here. He was in love with you for so long. He wrote you letters. He gave you crystals. He talked about you for days and nights and weeks and months. And he just threw it all away when I had to sit there for days, months, weeks. And it's just, what did I listen for? What did I help him for? All the effort I helped him into help him understand his feelings were just wasted for him to give it to another girl? I feel lied to. Emma, you're making it about yourself. I am. I am making it about myself. Because that's all I feel for. Is myself. Because what Ray did was wrong. It's gonna be a long